a case of misadventure greatly assisted by Storm the Cat. Now, it may or may have been a case of misadventure. One thing is certain, it was greatly assisted by Storm. <coughs> it is well known to me and to others who are fortunate or unfortunate enough to know Storm Kiki that Storm likes her Becky Bowl close to the fridge in the kitchen. Now, I ask yourself, why would you have the Becky Bowl near the fridge? Well, there are two good reasons. One, putting the food outside, you can attract a whole range of feral chickens and other feral whatnots and wildlife you really may not wish to have with you. The second reason, Storm doesn't like to be kept waiting too long for a food. If it, <coughs> when a Vicky Bowl has been filled, you do not take too long. That's to be a value pad along with your leeks. Now, she really likes mincemeat and doesn't like catfish, which often comes in interesting shapes including stars and other pointy bits. <coughs> but the mincemeat gets a tad on the expensive side, so I like to mix it, mix it with a cat picky biscuit, known as a vicky. Much of Storm to stay, and that's where my troubles really began. Storm having been fed some time earlier, I now hoped I could have a little peace, and hopefully a few nice quiet moments, if that was at all possible. So there I was, round the corner, going to the fridge, for some ice and, black, and a good stiff black douglas. When all hell broke loose, bloody hell, I let a blood curdling yell that would raise the heavens as the pain rocketed up through my leg to my, from my bare foot. What the bloody hell was on the floor? Christ, you bloody infernal bloody cat! If you must figure out your bloody biggie, at least fit it in the bowl. It was like she was setting anti personnel mines all over the hold. And it did register with me that maybe the bloody divisively clever cat made a point. And point was what I got in no short measure. But now, being a determined clever person that I am, I'm not going <coughs> to put up with this. I, I will have the last say and get the upper hand. Or so I thought, much to my regret. As I'm sure you know, thinking can be dangerous and get you into all sorts of trouble at times. I just had a brainwave. Yes, I was too glued to begging to the beach. Well, it proved a little more time consuming than imagined. It'll be worth it. I'd fix a little wicket. But she was to prove more clever and cunning than I reckoned on. To which I was going to get a very painful reminder. Storm by now was getting very impatient for a meet in the biggie bowl. As my genes would truly testify to. Though I shredded down one leg, she would be a have to wait. As I wanted to be totally sure, the super glue was totally dry for a couple of very good reasons. One being that she would not would get the meat off the biggie, and that would be bad enough. The other possibility didn't even bear thinking about. How was I going to explain to the wonderful family vet, who so much enjoyed Storm's visit, that Storm would get it had got a mouth glued up? I thought the idea had appealed, I hope, oh yes, but bugger, not the cost of the vet. And they're very expensive soft food. For many weeks, the bloody cat would win. Oh, no, 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 never. Uh, so I struggled for two and a half hours to make two full bowls of meat and bicky. Very time consuming. Glow, super glowing meat and bicky. Great. A hell of a job. Worth it knowing I'd have the problem licked. No more bicky spinning. Well, that'll fix a little wicket. So, ha having fed Storm two hours ago and so far, no wailing, no complaints. I felt finally confident everything was going along smoothly. And the <coughs> and goody, 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 peace reigned supreme. So now, safe in the sound knowledge that everything was quiet and proceeding as planned, I headed for the fridge for that well earned black Douglas and ice. As it had been a most trying day, and I rounded the corner of the bench, when all hell broke loose once more than I. God, here we go again, and I was thinking to myself, oh, bugger, I thought we'd solve my problem, this problem as my feet went from under me. Up, up in the air they went, as down, down, down I went, landing with a bone-crunching crash that shook the house. I told later by others in the vicinity, they were thought it was a sonic boom, or maybe an earthquake, but that was not the end of it. I took off across the tiles at supersonic speeds with the seat of my underwear smoking as I headed for the fridge on my back. Whereas fate would have it, my head became firmly wedged under the, under the fridge door. Also, 
Now I had a massive headache, not to mention super-headed parts of my anatomy, and so much smoking hot underpants. My head now constantly reverberating so much, I could not get a focus, let alone see straight, and completely put me off my black Douglas on ice. Because I really didn't need a black Douglas right now, but I sure did need the ice. I was black, not to mention the blue, backs, blue bits, and also not to forget the super-hooted part of my anatomy. When this in, in these smouldering underpants, which I felt may catch fire at any moment. Well, it seems Storm was not fooled by the meat super glued to the biggie, as it came finally to my attention. It would appear she spun it out as usual. Not only had she booby trapped the floor, she'd also upstaged it one more. She'd created a very slippery booby trap, like someone had greased the tiles. Well, it was like the bloody infernal ice grating ring. The bloody infernal cat. If it had to spit his bloody mickey out, why could it not just spit his it into the bloody bowl? When the dust all finally settled with the noise of my head, stopped reverberating, I was able to get a real focus on the situation. Tiki and Storm came wandering over to see what was causing all the excitement. Tiki looked at me with amazement and said, What do you think he's looking for under there? I said, well, well, bugger do I know. Can't see anything under there myself. I'll show you, you bloody infernal cat, when I get out from under here. Just when I manage to extract myself from under here, just you bloody wait. It's just not fair. There's no peace when that bloody storm is here is about. It's just no justice. I'm the one that's supposed to win, not the bloody infernal cat. The bloody bugger of a cat. <laughs>